So it's Saturday, August 3rd, 2019. I'm going to show you a day in the life of a targeted individual. These T-Fall pans are a really good price at, you know, $14.99. And it tells me that it was available for pickup at this, this Del Monte Center in Monterey. So I figure, well, if it's available for pickup at the store, that means that they have stock. So I go to the store, I drive out to the Macy's, and I go and see if I can pull, pick, pick up these three, three, you know, pots and pans, right? And I'm told immediately, and there's, you walk around, it's not there, so you go get help. And which they want you to do is always ask their perps if, for help. And then they tell you that, well, it's not, in, they don't have it there. Must be the online stock is out. So then they say, well, but we can order it for you. You know, we'll order it for you. Uh, and we'll do it online and then you don't have to pay for shipping or anything. So I'm thinking, okay, well, I guess that's a fair thing. But then I, I walk out and I go, well, let me go back online and see if it's still available for pickup. So, of course, when I go back online to see for if it's there, it's still telling me that I could you could pick it up today because it is at the store. So what happens is you are being violated as a targeted victim of the ability to simply go shopping because of people who are exfiltrating your privately held information while you're online searching. Then they go and get sympathizers, employees. So I can't necessarily blame the Macy's Corporation, but I can blame the employees within the Macy's Corporation who are part and sympathizers with this domestic terrorist organization who takes privately held online searches like this knowing that I'll probably get in the car and go over and pick it up since it's available. And the moment I walk into the store, they ask employees to deprive me of that product. So now we're going to go to something called the UNRU Civil Rights Act, okay? And basically it tells you that the UNRU Civil Rights Act California Civil Code Section 51 through 52 provides protection from discrimination by all business establishments in California, including housing and public accommodations. California Civil Code 51B, describing the uh, de describing the protections found under the all persons within the jurisdiction of this state, which is California, are free and equal, and no matter what their sex, race, color, religion, ancestry, n national origin, disability, medical condition, genetic genetics, uh, information, marital status, sexual orientation, citizenship, primary language, or immigration status are entitled to the full and equal accommodations, advantages, facilities, privileges, and or services in all business establishments of every kind whatsoever in the state of California. Okay, so the moment I walk into a store because these people have insider information that I am going to, I was online searching and I wanted to get this where it told me it was available. When I walked into the Macy's, those employees were told to deprive me of that item, knowing that it was in their store. Okay, this is the type of stuff targets deal with on a regular basis. So just to tell you that I knew that it was in the store. I walked out of the store with the product because I put everyone in the store, including management, on the line by saying, wait a second, if it's telling me here online that I can pick it up today, why would I have to order it? Here's the reservation number of the order they had to cancel. Okay, they had to return all of this and then repurchase it because I pursued the issue to prove that the product was in the store that I was initially deprived of. This is what targeting does. Number one, it starts with illegal, warrantless wiretapping, looking at my internet searches, and then knowing that I would possibly go to the store knowing that it was there. And then be going to the store and being deprived of the item, which made them then have to uh, um, order it for me. Here's the reservation number, the initial order, okay? That had to be canceled because I pursued it because I knew that the product was at Macy's in Monterey at Del Monte Center. So again, what was violated right here? My civil rights. So it's not necessarily the corporation of Macy's, but they have employee sympathizers that work within the Macy's corporation that help to facilitate the de denial and deprival and violation of my civil rights and my constitutionally protected rights to simply go to the store and purchase those items instead of being denied when I walked into the store and having to have to have it ordered and shipped to me when I knew that the product was in the store. I rest my case.
as a targeted individual.